Hi guys, so in today's video we are going to be looking at the blending tool and we are going to understand how this tool really works. So without any further ado, let's just jump right in. So first we are going to look at how this tool moves the color. So I am using soft brush as my blending tool. Also, I have increased the opacity up to the max so that we can clearly see how this tool is working also had these two colors in one layer right here so um what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna move from this skin color to maroon color from right to left so when i do this this tool is actually dragging that skin color right above the maroon color that we have on the left hand side when we do the same action from left to right it spreads the maroon color right above that skin color it is just dragging that color out from that little shade of maroon color and is dragging it over the skin color i hope that is not confusing at all so that's how this blending tool spreads the color when we do the similar thing right under the canvas when we are moving from left to right like this it spreads the color onto the canvas like this so that's how this tool works if i go ahead and you know just randomly move this tool onto the blank canvas it doesn't show any color because there is no color onto the bristles of the brush so to speak as it would work in this Autodesk sketchbook or the real life blenders that we use. It doesn't work like that. It just moves color from one place to another like this. Now I'm just going to undo everything. Now what happens when we enable alpha lock in a certain layer? It will just blend two colors that we have in the layer. It would not spread the color out on the canvas. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, you have to keep in mind, if you want to blend two colors together, there should be in one layer only. So let's just suppose I want to blend all of these three colors together, but I have this yellow color onto a different layer. So what will happen is it won't blend with the colors, the two colors that I have right underneath it, nor when I go to the yellow color, it won't blend with the skin color as you guys can see it is just removing the yellow color onto the canvas and not really blending it out with the two colors that i have right underneath it so these are some key points that you should keep in mind all the time when working with this tool also everybody knows that we have a lot of brushes to use from for the blending tool as well so depending on the type of artwork you're doing if you're creating something which has some texture you can always go ahead and use some textured brush let me just show you how the textured brush um, works as a blending tool it will spread the color in that texture only like that as you guys can see so these are some basics of this tool also if you move from the canvas to the color it will just bring that white color onto that until and unless you have enabled the alpha lock so that's something to keep in mind so that was the basic of the blending tool now what happens when we play around with the strength of this tool in other words what happens when we play around with the opacity of this tool so let me just show you guys how that works so as you guys just saw i was using this tool with high opacity or with high strength so when we use this tool with high opacity what happens is it smears the color around like a wet paint so if you have ever used wet paint like physically you know what i'm talking about it kind of messes up the colors really quickly and you guys can actually see the drag lines as you guys can see the drag lines are pretty visible now what happens when we use this brush with um, low opacity or low strength let me just show you guys let's just say i have turned down the opacity up to 27 or maybe 26 percent that's how i use it personally now what happens is the smudge becomes more smoother and softer as you guys can see 
the smudge lines are not visible anymore and it is actually spreading the color really nicely really smoothly as you guys can see and this technique or lower strength or lower opacity is useful when you are creating gradients or blending shadows and highlights so that is why i always suggest using this tool with low opacity or just low strength in other words so that's how that's the basics of this tool this tool is not at all hard to use you just have to understand the um, primary functions that it has and how it works i hope that makes sense you guys so yeah just go ahead and do not draw anything uh, just go ahead and put two colors uh, together onto the canvas and play around with your blending tool just to see what works best for you or the type of artwork that you do so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's quick quick tutorial if you did please do give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i post every monday and friday and this is my last video for the year happy new year to all of you guys and yeah i will see you guys the next time